Hey, welcome to GT Garage again. Um, haven't done a video in a little while. Oh, excuse the shed. It's been um, pretty rainy here in Adelaide. The Adelaide Hills the last few uh, days, last week actually. So I had to resort to working in a workshop bay of my um, shed. So yeah, excuse the mess. I had to push everything out of the way so I got room to move. Now, this is the latest update. Got somewhat of a framework tacked together and up. Um, taken a while and I'll be honest with you it's um, it hasn't uh, come together like my 3d model for various reasons but mostly um, size of structure for one probably the most major part um, it was meant to be a 1800 width cab but um, what's uh, ended up happening is I've narrowed it to 1700 so I did a bit of measuring on the car and the vehicle and 1800 will hang out pretty wide and really the aim here is to not be too much of um, a drag on the vehicle when I'm towing so I'm trying to make it reasonably lightweight and reasonably aerodynamic 1800 is actually wider than my car it's actually the width of the flares to be honest so I decided to narrow it a little um, by 100 mil which should just line up with basically the the width of the tub so at door handle height basically um, that's changed, um, height has changed slightly, uh, it's now 1900 freestanding, so I'm under 180, and yeah, so we just tacked on, so don't worry about that, um, I think it's a bit over, just a bit over 190, the freestanding roof height um, width 1700 I decided to go with a 30 degree um, on the front of the box as you can see there um, it's taken ages just to get everything square because what I found out was that even the trailer wasn't made perfectly square and level. So, had a bit of a battle with lengths and levels and that. It's pretty good now. So, all of this is like the deck is pretty much welded together. The actual superstructure here is just tacked together. Um, so I've gone 50 mil um, RHS galvanized to widen the deck and bring it forward to 40 mil from this is where the original tailgate is to here to 40 mil. Um, there's going to be a bit of I suppose you call it rake on the back. I'll show you that better when I've got it outside of the shed. But full length should get it, so should come to just under 3100 for the cab. Um, and then from tow hitch to the other end of the, the cab should be somewhere in the region of about 4.4, I think, something like that. We'll get definite measurements there if anyone's interested. I've gone with. Um, 40 by 40 gal alright just for the uprights uh, 30 by 30 gal alright just for just about everything else um, I've got a mate that builds trailers for a living and I mean, 
not entirely his recommendations, but I've used um, influences from his trailer builds. Slightly different. He used, um, I think, rectangular section on his. I'm just used. I've decided to use all square, um, just so I don't introduce yet another um, type of steel. Um, so even though the uprights here are 40 by 40, when we get a wall panel in here, probably going to use like a 30 mil insulation. Oh, we'll see. But yeah, it did things like um, I don't know the technical terms, but a cap, all the open ends. That one's still need to be done there. But yeah, all this structure up here is only tacked at the moment because I'm just trying to get everything nice and square. Um, see, there's a window there, window here. That'll be for another video. But yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. I've spent basically a week. And it's been tough because of the rain outside and 10 week old baby is getting a bit grumpy at the moment. So. Yeah, this is where we're at. It's starting to take shape. I mean, I can't really stand back and see what it looks like because I'm in a six by three bay of my shed. And yeah, pretty, pretty crammed in here. I just roll it forward into this space here to be able to do my welding and cutting, etc. So yeah, again, excuse the mess. I've had to cram everything into here. This is usually a free bay of my shed for me to work in. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Looking good so far. I haven't been able to have a whole day working at it, which has been annoying. Um, again, can't complain. It's because of the baby and um, my dad's been a bit unwell lately. So, yeah, a couple of hours here and there. But that's where we're at for now. Um, again, like and su subscribe if these videos are any good to you um, feel free to comment down below good or bad I take criticism quite well so if you have any questions or any advice for me feel free to put it down there but yeah that's all for now